Hi and welcome back to yet another educative content. Today we'll be talking on geriatric care or old age care. So many people tune into old age. Obviously, uh, as we age, we tend to get more interested into spiritual activities, more interested with connecting to something which is more important to us. And we feel that yoga is also one such thing. And there is a reason why I'm talking today on geriatric care. So this care is not just, you know, once you reach that age of 60 plus or 50 plus, then you can think of something in your system which you can do to save you from many diseases or save you from many problems around you. For everyone, it should be an important uh, thing, you know. You are slowly getting into the age and you need to prepare your body, you need to prepare your mind for getting into something called as Vanaprastha Ashrama, which we call as old age home. But technically, that means that moving towards the forest. So, uh, geriatric care is also, you know, it's about understanding the body because the body is very tender like a child. The mind is very tender uh, like a child. And also the problems with the body and mind is more into, you know, on geriatric problems as such. So many physical problems like osteoporosis, you might have weight loss, there are sensory impairments, there is oral health to be taken care of. Uh, there are a lot of sleep disturbances. There is also mentally you are more into anxious states, you uh, tend to get more schizophrenia. You have dementias where you're trying to get or trying to understand things, but it's not coming into the picture. And also sometimes hallucination in extreme cases. Similarly, you have difficulty in writing because the cognitive skills slowly, you know, dismantles. So today we'll be talking about how to address these problems. As I said earlier, it is not that you reach an age and then focus on these things. Obviously, that is also there. At the same time, if you have time to reach to that age, if you see to it that you should prepare for this properly. So if you're not preparing for this, then that becomes a problem once you reach at that age. So there is a reason why focus on attending to these problems as early as possible. But this video is also talks about people who have attained that age, let's say above 40, 50, 60, and even 70 plus. So we're not focusing on just an age group. We're focusing on the process because yoga itself is a lifestyle. Yoga itself is a path oriented lifestyle. So you have to prepare yourself in each and every aspect as such. So very much important is your diet. As I said earlier, it becomes a childlike uh, thing where the diet or the food, what you eat has to be very soft. It has to give you energy. So that is the reason why try to eat as simple as possible. This is not just for geriatric uh, conditions. This is also for, you know, uh, people who are into intensive yoga, like as we have said earlier about food, how food can make a big impact into our lives. Uh, similarly, diet itself, at least at the age of 50, try to avoid complex foods like which is too much of oil, which is too much of, you know, salty, sugary or anything which is high in itself. When I say high, it is high calorific value, high uh, nutritive value. Make sure that everything is balanced. Make sure that everything counts when you are eating food. So that is the reason why focus more on calcium because as I said, bones become brittle when you are reaching to at that age. Also, there's a lot of disturbances in your salts levels that has to be taken care of. At the same time, you need to have much iron for making sure your body builds properly. So along with that, you need to have some of the vitamins, which is very important. So concentrate more on vitamin A, D, C, and B12. So is there any right way of eating? Is there any right plan of eating? Probably what we are focusing is more about eating well in terms of, you know, food, which is balanced in diet, but we cannot tell you some kind of a chart which is there. But one thing what we can see is as per research, there is always, uh, recommends, uh, the research recommends you to have high protein rich food and low fat diet and high carb diet. Uh, switch to solid oils like coconut and ghee or you know, something like mustard which are traditionally grown rather than refined and something which is you know uh, complexly derived like that of vanaspatis and all those things. 
because the more easier the food is the better it gets in my last or in my few topics especially in my obesity topic i have spoken about the importance of a uh, low carb diet but here i am talking about high carb diet when i say high carb diet it is it has to be under the consideration of uh, not just the food but also you have to think about how the body acts for this food you know when i say high carb diet don't go on eating a lot of rice or a lot of chapati a uh, high carb diet because the energy utilization of the body at that time is also at the same pace see the body as such doesn't get withered out you know uh, everything is there we need to understand the concept of aging here because uh, age according to yoga it's just a number so that is the reason why you need not focus more on to the numbers you focus on how your body is functioning with lot of age by which you have taken let's say your 60 years and you have a 60 years of experience so that stores in your mind so mind keeps on functioning so that puts more strain on to your thinking cognitive strain that is the reason why people you know as they tend to uh, go somewhere near 60 to 70 years they tend to eat less so that is the reason why for that age group we would suggest a little bit of higher range of carbohydrate than the regular range of carbohydrates because carbohydrates are easily digested so it just gets into your system it just gets into your uh, adaptive uh, lifestyle and that doesn't put much strain on to other uh, body parts like that of your muscles like that of your uh, fat content or fat storage or on to your livers and your pancreas as such so as we move on to let's say old age the very important thing is we don't know what to do because we are not uh, powerful because we don't have the same strength At the same time we tend to forget things so yeah i am keep on repeating forgetion or i am keep on repeating dementia as such because uh, people in that age group seems to be entirely lost from the general perspective of people you know once you turn 60 government says to retire at the same time once you retire you don't know because for the past 20 30 years of your life uh, all we did was work 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 and we have a schedule which we we used to get up which we used to take bath which we used to go for work and then come on to home have your dinner and then get, get to rest but this entirely changes once you reach to the age of 60 where you take a retirement and you don't know what to do with those 6 hours so that is the reason why uh, i would suggest you to get a new uh, kind of an activity get into yourself into some activities like you know playing flute uh, playing uh, instruments not just flute instruments can go for singing you can try dancing you can try uh, let's say mimicry or you can try some artistic nature anything which is available which you can think of doing and also you can also try something which is uh, what your dream was you know painting and all those things because uh, what happens is uh, activity aims in something called as neuroplasticity you know because of the same routine majority of your brain cells or neurons as such is focused or targeted into one such activity so other shares of activity or other activity which is there that is not getting registered so the neuroplasticity is something like you are creating new branches of the nerves this neuroplasticity will make sure that you will not end up having dementia you will not having any kind of a uh, hallucination if you are not into any activity let's say in the past 30 years you forgot everything get on to something new games like you can try sudoku you can try chess you can also try you know uh, having a group get together and discussing something apart from your regular worries and all those things something which is very fruitful when you start discussing when you start giving more inputs to yourself then obviously the brain also starts developing so that is the reason why we say see to it that you are more focused see to it that you are more engaging into yourself engaging if you are even if you want to see in a higher scale you can also start engaging yourself into spirituality now that's what yoga says as i say yoga is not just you know you when you reach 60 you should start doing your spiritual activity many people say when bhagavad gita when somebody ask you to read bhagavad gita you say for that you have time you know once you reach 60 that is a time when you are supposed to read bhagavad gita nothing like that bhagavad gita itself teaches you a lot of things you know how to be with the society how to be with yourself how to think and how to do rationally many things so bhagavad gita is a part of your everyday day, everyday activity it is not a part of your 60 years activity so yoga talks about 
keeping your body fit yoga talks about keeping your mind fit similarly spirituality and spiritual activities can also make you more focused way of getting into you know, the so called old age at the same time even in old age if you start getting you will have more peace of mind so ultimately spirituality and yoga talks in the same way of making sure that the thought levels or the amount of perceived uh, memories are actually reducing as you go to the older ages so as yoga says i was telling about vanaprastha ashrama there are four ashramas when you are brahmacharya when you are very young and you try to get into the knowledge or trying to assimilate the knowledge similarly you have grihastha where you are trying to get married and trying to start a family and trying to lead a better model life and then you have vanaprastha when you have done with your all the responsibilities with the society when you have done with the all the responsibility of your people around you then you move on to something called as vanaprastha ashrama so next is uh, definitely samadhi or not samadhi in the sense of uh, you know uh, getting into uh, death bed but it's more like you are trying to understand what are the duties of vanaprastha basically vanaprastha tells when you get your daughter or your son married that is the time when your vanaprastha starts but today it has become more of a vriddhashrama rather than vanaprastha ashrama so we don't know when to give up our responsibilities to our people who are coming into the system at the same time we don't know where to end our you know uh, entire thing like uh, we we have to put a break on our regular activity so that is the reason why uh, today there is a lot of a confusion between vanaprastha and vridha which is actually one of the other ashramas also so that is the reason why we need to think of uh, getting yourself into the mode of pushing your duties out of yourself there are many duties like you are you might be a you might be a, a ceo of a company you might be a you might just be a gardener you might just be anything but is that vacuum there or not is the question once you are out of the system the system should run smoothly once the system runs smoothly then that means that you have made a big impressions in that system so it should not be like you left and the system is entirely tumbling that means that you have not taken it very seriously in building up that system so that should not perish as soon as you leave the system so that is the reason why handling over these responsibilities is also a part of vanaprastha ashrama so as i said preparation has to be started at very young age so it must be as young as 30 years so you know body will once you have taken birth you will definitely die but are you gracefully dying is more important because once you are slowly moving into the system of uh, uh, these things there's a lot of changes within the body which the body might not be able to you know cope up like initially for the first 30 years of your life you do anything with this body it is bouncing back but once you cross the age of 30 you gain weight you have back pain and all those diseases come because your body has not been uh, systemed or not been serviced properly so that is the reason why you need to make sure that even your mind is also in a same systematic mode of letting sure that whatever you be is your responsibility whatever be is your uh, commitment whatever is the way you are functioning is taken care of so what can you do once you or how do you prepare for this period one and very important thing is uh, breathing like i always keep telling uh, breath shows you how what when and everything around it you know you just have to be focused on how the breath moves in and how the breath moves out that is pranayama basically so you have to be consciously looking at your prana or looking at the way your prana is moving so once that is there then slowly you know you can make sure that you were body and mind is more concentrated or they are more functioning according to the its needs so similarly you might have complaints about uh, no sleep i don't get sleep you know in the night i don't have much of a sleep so what to do so the reason why you know many people have been talking to about sleep is once you reach at the age of 60 you have no no sleep because god wants you to have a look at what you have you done or uh, you have he wants to you know contemplate whatever things you have done that is the reason why he reduces your sleep that's one thing second thing is because of your low physical activity you tend to get low sleep sleep is not like you have to get 6 hours you have to get 8 hours it also depends on your activity heavy activity your body is more tired so Uh, your body gets a rejuvenation once you sleep so that is the reason why uh, as you age your activity also comes down so your sleep pattern also comes down 
but what you can do is you can invest this time in you know gaining knowledge you can invest time in you know learning new activity you can invest this time in understanding better things around how things are functioning and you can also put your words to it so that is the reason why i say yoga is not just for age related yoga is not just a disease oriented it's a lifestyle it's a mental status how you put yourself into the system is how you are going to get back but that is the reason why i will also ask you not to perform or not to go for an intensive physical activity during the same season or the same period of time because you never know how brittle is your body you never know how uh sublime is your uh, parts of your body is like muscles or organs so you might end up hurting yourself but if you having a practice of a regular practice of yoga continue practicing yoga but if you are try planning to start up yoga lately in your life so see to it that you take care when you are practicing you are always trained up by trained professionals who are there around you and nothing is impossible even at the age of 60 if you are trying to get into the practice of yoga if you are focusing on your breath and practicing yoga you can be more flexible than what you were once upon a time so don't worry about your body just worry about how the breath is moving just worry about how your body is performing once you understand these two and you try to make sense then slowly your body will try to gain more and more from whatever is around you so age is just a number don't limit yourself for age don't tell yeah i am 60 years old i don't have anything to do or i don't have much energy left in me to do that's not the right attitude towards life the right attitude towards life is even though you are 60 your body your mind is well connected and it's well oriented towards something you know giving back in itself so whatever you have gained in the past 60 years it might be physical it might be mental it might be social or but still, are you able to give it back to the society? Creating an impact is more important. So that is the reason why yoga talks all about this. So once you start into practice mode, like doing some basic pranayamas, doing some basic asanas, doing some basic meditative techniques, you can reach to utmost satisfaction without having any trouble with your physical body or your mental space as such. So that is the reason why we say your old age is uh, to be cherished old age is not to be blamed everybody goes through it once you take birth obviously you have to die but old age is a part where you understand where you have that knowledge or where you have some kind of an understanding about how your body how your mind actually is working in itself because we never thought about this uh, in our entire life uh, as we were very young we thought about playing as we were a bit in the middle ages we thought about making money as we were a bit older than that making we, we had to take care of our children make sure that they get good things and then when we are talking about ourselves so old age is basically a topic which we need to talk on understanding ourselves rather than understanding the society and how our contribution is making a good impact onto the society so that's it for uh, this uh, channel, uh, this uh, topic today. So you have any doubts, obviously, uh, because of your way your body is built up, the way your body is uh, taken care of and the diseases which you have, it gets a lot of implications. But as I say, whatever it is, make sure that you are more active, make sure that you are more physically and mentally some kind of an active so that you don't kick into some kind of, uh, you don't come into shackles of old age. Uh, which makes you feel like it's a bondage enjoy your old age enjoy the process of old age of, or process of getting old that's more important so till then uh, in the next video uh, have a good time uh, share this video with those who are into that field or who are going into that uh, scenario or, or passing through that phase of their life you can write down to me at dr aditya hande at gmail doctor or gmail.com for more information and also like this channel if you like the educative content which i am doing subscribe to this channel because that will make sure that it inspires me to create more such contents the same time uh, make sure that you share among your old or new dear ones so till then thank you